Hi, my name is Tola Kay, and I'm the author of the best-selling Survivor Guide series. And this is the 16th in a series of instructional films, and the second ritualistic survival guide books unboxing. And today we're going to unbox Barnes & Noble's latest response to the Kindle Fire HD, which is a very cleverly named Nook HD. All right, let's open it up. So I've either got hands like scissors or I cut this earlier. I'll be hands like scissors. All right, so let's take that out. And it just opens very easily here at the bottom. So it opens just like that. And I have the Snow 8 gigabyte, and this one was 199. And they're also available in Smoke. It's another name for gray, I guess. <laughs> and that one is also 199 for 8 gigabyte, and they are both uh, 229 for the 16 gigabyte version. So this uh, seven-inch tablet uh, feels. Very, uh, very nice in your hand, very convenient to hold. And let's take this plastic off the back here. It looks like it comes off on the sides first. Just comes right off here. And this just slightly textured back uh, actually will definitely provoke, uh, you know, deter it from sliding off a table a little bit and here on the back we have the stereo speakers and of course the nook button on the front here and the 30 pin connector this is their new connector you're going to use it to charge the nook hd and also to connect it to your computer and then here we have the sd card slot and this is actually something that the Fire HD lacks. And this will allow you to insert an SD card up to 32 gigabytes. So really, this 8 gigabyte version, only 5 gigabytes are available for use. And similarly on the 16 gigabyte, only 13. So you can definitely expand the memory there. Okay, and then on the top we have the headphone jack. And it looks like a microphone here as well. Okay, and then on the left side, we have the power button right here. And on the right side, the volume controls. All right, so let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's see how quickly it can start. It looks like you're actually gonna have to press and hold the power button until you see Nook here. All right, so let's let this thing start up. So just uh, as a side note, this is a 1440 by 900 uh, resolution with 243 pixels per inch as compared to the Fire HD, which I also have here, which is 1280 by 800. So this resolution is actually considerably better. And the Fire HD is a 216 pixels per inch. And just comparing the weight, this is definitely noticeably, the Nook HD that is, is definitely noticeably lighter than the Fire HD. Uh, definitely easier to hold in one hand. I think the design is much better, just ergonomically. Here, there's a lot of space on the side, so same size screen, however, tougher to hold so as you can see I'll kind of back up here a little bit so you can see my hand wraps around the Fire HD but my fingers just kind of you know barely make it around here here very easy to hold very comfortable I can hold it up here much greater ease it you know don't have to strain too much okay so now that this has started up let's see how to get started. So first we're gonna choose a language. So here I am in US English. And then it's gonna look for Wi-Fi networks in the vicinity. 
It's a very quick startup here. Seems like it, you know, it's very snappy here. So I'm going to connect to my network. So let me just enter my password here. Top secret password. Luckily, it's a short one. So you don't have to wait too long. All right, so I got the password in there and let's see how long it takes to connect. And done, just a matter of seconds. Seems like it's gonna be a very fast device. And we're gonna to touch continue with setup at the bottom here. Okay, so it's going to ask you whether you're in the United States, and you can select the time zone. So here I am on Eastern Time, so I'm going to touch that. And then I'm going to touch Next to continue. And it looks like it needed to download some updates, and it's going to restart. But again, I'm expecting that it's going to boot up pretty quickly here. Yeah, progress bar. So some other things while it's booting up, this slot, the uh, the thirty pin connector here, is actually HDMI compatible. So similar to the Fire HD, however here you're going to need an adapter, which is sold separately. It doesn't actually come in the box, so maybe that's what we can actually show while we wait for this to start up is what actually comes in the box with it. We seem to have skipped over that part. So we got a quick start guide here. The cable itself, so you get USB on one end and the 30 pin connector on the other. Looks like they're Taking a little cue from Apple here. And then the actual power adapter, something that does not come with the Fire HD. So it looks like there's another kind of spit in the face for them. Nothing under there. So that's all we got. But I think that's all we need. So it looks like this is still loading. Another feature that's not really flaunted, especially on the description page if you go on the Barnes & Noble website, is the Bluetooth. And this is indeed Bluetooth enabled, so you can take your Bluetooth keyboard and connect it right to this, and then you don't have to use the virtual keyboard and type much more accurately. So that's pretty handy. And for all of you ice cream sandwich users out there, you can actually already tell that this is based on a version of Android Ice Cream Sandwich with that loading screen there, how it was optimizing the applications. And it looks like it went back to the welcome screen. So I'm going to choose the language again. So this is a little bit strange. Uh, but it also is already connected to the Wi-Fi network. So we can just hit continue with setup. So that's okay. It looks like it didn't make us go through the setup again. And I'm gonna say yes, you can read these terms if you like. You should probably read them. So you can tap here to read them. I vow to sell my soul to a Barnes and Noble and they can, you know, iTunes agreement type of thing. <laughs> so we're gonna hit yes, I accept to sell my soul to Barnes and Noble, and then touch agree, and then it allows you to sign in to your Barnes and Noble account. So you can hit yes, I have an account. If you do or no, and you can set one up. So I already do. So I'm going to sign into mine here. The uh, virtual keyboard is actually very easy to use. It's very accurate. The resolution actually makes it very easy to press these keys and 
I've only missed one so far. I'm pretty sure that was my own fault. The spacing between them is very good. Uh, it's it's large enough to make it so that you don't miss often, but also small enough to make sure that the keys are actually big enough, so kind of for the same purpose. And then we're going to hit Submit here. And it looks like it's going to give me some offers here. You can just hit next. Oh, you do have to select at least one. What are your interests? Hmm. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have to select an interest. So let's say science and technology, right? And touch next. And I'm sure you can do those later as well. And I'm just going to skip this for now. I just want to see what the home screen looks like here and show you. Well, I'm finally on the home screen and a ah, very smooth interface. So this is kind of like the carousel on the uh, original Kindle Fire, I suppose. So we can download a book here from the cloud. And then we've got our apps. Yeah, so very quick interface. Got a Pandora built in, a web browser. Turned right to the home screen there. Any notifications at the top? Yep, so to access your settings, you can touch the settings icon at the top right here. To view your recent items, it looks like. You can touch this at the bottom right. So this is the Nook HD in all its glory. So I hope you enjoyed this ritualistic unboxing and I look forward to seeing you in future videos. All right, have a good one. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them and I will see you next time.